welcome back to my channel and another seasonal polish picks. So obviously we are picking some polishes for the season of winter because it's winter right now, at least where I'm at, it's winter. And I feel like I want to do, I think I did this last year too, but more like the post seasonal vibe, like, and I feel like, I, I think I did this last year, but I feel like I want to do like the post Christmas vibe, the post New Year's, like once all the holidays are over, like that part of winter, that's what I want to focus on. Especially because I've been talking about Christmas and holiday polishes and we'll be talking about them like all this month. And I just want to like talk about what what, what comes after. What, what do we do when Christmas is over? What goes on our nails then? So that's what I'm doing in this video. I don't know about you guys, but for me, like after Christmas is over, there's just not much to do, you know? And I'm looking for like kind of cozier vibes, but also like a little fun, like jazz it up, like cozy jazz. That's what we're looking for. I want to spend my winter break at home, like being comfy and chill, but I also don't want to be boring and wasted. You know what I mean? My company gives me eight or 10 days off around Christmas. Like our whole company closes down. It's so nice. I mean, like the one thing I missed about school was having breaks and like, I found it in this company, so it doesn't matter how boring my job is, I will work here for that winter break. But yeah, if you're new here or you're unfamiliar with the format of this video, basically what I do is I just kind of pick a vibe or a theme that I want to emulate for the season, and then I pick eight polishes and one topper that I feel kind of encompass that element of the season for me. This is by no means a like go out and buy these polishes or like this is what I think you should wear during this time. It's more of like an inspiration or like a lookbook of like things that I'm kind of inspired to wear or, you know, some things similar to this that I'm inspired to wear. It doesn't necessarily have to be this polish. And if you are interested in any of the polishes I mentioned, I do often link them down below in the description. You can also shop your own stash for similar items or you can come up with your own vibe for the season and make your own little collection for the season. So, you know, lots of different ways you could interpret or enjoy this video. Or you can just watch me ramble on about nonsense as I talk about these polishes. It's all up to you. So let's get into the ramblings. So I'm looking at my little pile of polishes over here and it is by no means cohesive, but everything, I picked them all for a reason and I will explain them to you. And the first one I picked is Hollow Taco's Existential Crisis. Despite the name of this one, I do kind of get like warm and cozy vibes from it. It's a lot of colors all at once. Like it's, it's multi-chrome, it's got hollow in there, it's got like just a lot going on. And the blue shift in this in particular reminds me of a lot of just like cozy winter sweaters. And so like that deeper toned color, it just feels like knitwear-y. And then you have all the extra fun of like there's shimmer, there's hollow, it's multi-chrome, it's like a clown died and then we bottled its blood. Like that's how I feel about this polish. It's fun. And it just feels perfect for the lull in between the holidays, especially like between Christmas and New Year when you've just got, you know, a week of nothing. Now this was limited edition and you can no longer buy it outside of a D-stash. However, I feel like a lot of brands, I've been seeing a lot on Polish Pickup lately, just looking kind of similar to this, at least in the base tone, maybe not with all the extra additions, but I've seen a lot of similar toned bases and that like multi-chrome shift and a couple from like Cadillac or if I remember correctly, it feels like Cadillac or does colors kind of like this pretty often and pretty well. So I definitely think that this can be, you know, duped, not precisely, but like the base at least, you could find something similar. And if anybody does know of a good dupe or something close, sound off in the comments so that we can help each other out because, you know, this is pretty unique to my collection, but I do feel like I've seen similar ones on the market. Okay, next I have a cream, and this is one I actually wore recently. This is Zoya's Emilia. I really like these kind of woody type of like more natural feeling browns, especially lately. I don't know what's come over me. I'm like enjoying the neutral tones. But this kind of a color, it feels very like warm and cozy to me. I feel like natural colors often do feel like cozier. I don't know if it's like the primal like lizard brain being like, you have to build a hut out of sticks and leaves that will be comfortable. But that's how I feel. <laughs> what? Why? I just, why do I say everything that comes in my head? I just feel like this is a comfy color. I don't know. It's nice and it's dark but it's not one of those like almost black kind of darks where like that polish is like so dark that 
it's only when you know the planets and the stars align perfectly and the light hits it just right and you're tilted just this way that you can tell that it's actually purple or something i'm looking at you lincoln park after dark because what like be one color i don't need this like almost nonsense so this one still has enough like color saturation and warmth to it that you know it's brown and it's more like natural and naturey and i just I don't know, it makes you think of like a log cabin or a hut made out of sticks, I guess. Okay, next we're coming out of left field with uh, China Glaze's Dat Color Dough. And this is one of those like lighter kind of blues. And I really associate this with winter time, this tone of blue, not only because I feel like when you see Hanukkah decorations, this type of blue is always incorporated in it, but also it makes me feel like, uh, it just makes you think of cartoon icicles. and. So I wanted to have this type of blue in because it's like comfortable. It's like kind of expected for winter. But I, like I said at the beginning, I wanted to jazz up these colors. And so I picked one that's just straight up glitter. Like this is a sponge on type of glitter. You don't want to just paint this on. You want to sponge it on so you get maximum payoff. And it is really, really sparkly. And I feel like especially when like midday in the winter when the sun is really bright and it's like reflecting off the snow and it just hits your nails just right. This one will be perfect. Okay, number four I picked for a reason that is wildly specific to me and only me. And um, I don't know if you're going to be able to relate to this one unless we have the same dad somehow, but I don't think that we do. So, um, but this color is See Y'all Later Chai and it's that like light oatmeal-y kind of tan color. And the reason why this is like a cozy winter color for me, specifically for me, is that it reminds me of the like oatmeal cable knit sweaters that my dad wears when it's colder out, but he needs to dress up. Like my dad is not a slacks and a button down kind of guy. And when he does wear stuff like that, it kind of freaks me out because I'm not used to it. Um, He always wears like a nicer pair of jeans and a cable knit oatmeal colored sweater. And like, so to me, that's just what it makes me think of is like, oh, it's, it's winter time. We're going to like more holiday outings and my dad's wearing his cable knit <laughs> sweater again. Isn't that weird? And they look nice. They're nice sweaters. They look good on him, but... That's just what this ever, as soon as this color came out, I was like, that looks like my dad's sweater. And ever since then, like, that's all I can associate this polish with is sweaters that my dad wears. <laughs> so yeah, that's that one. Put that away. Let me know. Does your dad also wear oatmeal colored cable knit sweaters? Can you relate to that very niche and really minuscule fact about my life? I don't know. Okay, next we have one that's less cozy and more just jazzy. And this is Moxie's Truth. And this is my all-time favorite red polish. And I feel like this is just the perfect pop that you need for darker days. Cause I don't know about you guys, but man, the winter, it takes a lot out of me. It makes me really sad. I don't get enough sunlight, I'm sure. And that's part of it. And so sometimes you just gotta like bully yourself into being like happy, you know? At least I do. I'm just like, Hillary, you gotta figure it out. You gotta get your life together. You gotta do something fun. And sometimes I don't wanna go out when it's like, 10 degrees out. And so I like to get all dressed up just to stay home. I really like doing that. You know, it's like kind of a lot of effort for nothing, but like getting all dressed up just to do nothing for me, it, it gives me something to kind of focus on, especially since like ever since I started working from home and when my boyfriend got his current job, you know, he's working 60 to 70 hours minimum a week. I don't I'm alone a lot. I'm just sitting here doing nothing most of the time, which I guess is a good reason to have this YouTube channel, but sometimes I want to put my energy into something. And so sometimes it's just fun to kind of like do full glam and, and put on the bright red polish and put on just a really fun outfit and then eat a snack and watch a trashy TV show, you know? And so that's kind of what this type of color is for me. Okay. And then I just wanted another glitter, but one that was little bit more subdued and I feel like this one works not only for Christmas but the post Christmas time and that's Danny Vienna's Cinnabon Sugar and this is a reflective glitter and I feel like I feel like every time I bring up reflectives I'm like you know I don't really care for them but it's like I have been bringing them up a lot more lately and I feel like I'm deluding myself by saying I don't really care for them I just 
I don't actively buy them, but I'm like, oh, they're fun. They are actually fun. So I got to stop saying that, but I did actually, this was the first reflective glitter I bought. And this one has not only the silver glitter running through it, but brown glitter as well. So it does look like cinnamon sugar, which when I was growing up as a kid, my mom used to put on buttered toast for me, which probably isn't the ideal breakfast, but man, does that sound good right now? But yeah, I mean, silver is a very wintry color to me, so I feel like this is good. And also, I have been thinking about cinnamon rolls a lot lately. I went to a party where somebody made, like, from scratch cinnamon rolls, and I was like, man, I want to, I just want another cinnamon roll. And I just feel like the center, like the dead center, like the last little, like, twirl of the cinnamon roll is the best part. And if I could only eat that part on every cinnamon roll, I would be happy. Next, I wanted to include some sort of yellow color for the, pretty much the same reason as I chose the red, just kind of like a bright spot, something fun, something happy. But then I was like a straight up yellow, like boom in your face yellow. It's not going to fit into like my vision for these seasonal polish picks. So I ended up picking kind of a yellowy goldy color. I don't know. I feel like this is a yellow, but because there's hollow in it, as soon as you put hollow and yellow, I'm like, that's gold. It's just gold. I don't know why I do that, but this is BKL's Waggle Dance. And yes, I bought it for the name. Of course I did. I love bees. So I, Bees Knees Lacquer, Waggle Dance, it's all bee themed. I had to have it. And it is absolutely beautiful. It's beautiful. I'm hilarious, okay? But it is just a cozy spot of color when these days are so short, you know, and there's no sunlight and you just feel kind of burnt out and um, vitamin D deficient. And I feel like you can wear the sun on your nails. You guys, one time I got so vitamin D deficient that my doctor was like, the sun is not gonna fix you anymore. And I had to take giant vitamin D horse pills for like 12 weeks or something. It was crazy. So my goal is to never have that happen again because that was embarrassing. <laughs> like who gets vitamin D deficient? Like she must have thought that I never went outside, which I didn't, but you know, in the summer I extra try to go outside because that was weird. Okay, and the last one, and I feel like you guys are gonna think this is a stretch, but I swear this is, it's perfect for like winter, especially like January, February time. And this is China Glaze Bloom Foria. And this actually came out in the spring collection this year. But the reason why I picked this one is it reminds me of like when the sun starts to set and the sky is super purple and blue and green, like all those kind of Aurora Borealis type colors. And then it contrasts so starkly with the snowy ground. I just think it's such a, like, it's like a very scene from a painting kind of a view. If you don't get snow, maybe like, I don't know, Google a picture of Midwest winters. Cause it's like the one good thing that comes out of winter. I hate the cold. I hate the snow, but sometimes it is really pretty, but I could also just Google pictures of it and I would still be just as satisfied. So I need to move somewhere that's warm most of the time. But yeah, this is super pretty. It's not capturing the flip really well on camera, but it is a very like subtle kind of greeny, like a very minty green that is running through it. And it, against this purple, it's so pretty. And then finally for the topper, I chose Zoya's Eclipse in my swatch photo. I have it over black, white, red, and then just like over the bare nail. And I chose this one because it looks like a fresh snowfall. It's a little bit cliche, but it's like, I wanted to find a way to make snow fun for me because I literally cannot stand it anymore in its natural form. It, it looks like I cracked open a snow globe and then like dipped my fingers inside. I really like that about this. It's got like regular silver or no, it's got like little white flecks. It's got like little silver flecks, but it also has a hollow glitter running through it. So it's like really sparkly. And it reminds me of that kind of shimmery way that when the sun comes up and it starts to kind of melt the snow, but it it's not quite all melting away. It's just creating that kind of icy top layer and it gets really shimmery and kind of glittery in a way. That's what this polish reminds me of. It's like the perfect untarnished snow right before you start stomping through it to build a snowman. So yeah, that's my seasonal polish picks. Not cohesive in any way, shape, or form. Like these colors, they don't go together. What was I doing? I mean, that's not the goal. It's just I'm trying to suss out the vibe for the season. But this is probably the weirdest seasonal polish picks I've ever done. 
my mood is really weird surrounding Christmas this year. It's like I really want winter to not exist because it's too cold and I hate it. But at the same time, I want to enjoy it because so many people love the winter. So many people love Christmas and I just want to be one of those people. So yeah, that is going to be it from me. Let me know what you kind of like to wear or what colors you lean towards once the holidays are over. I would love to hear from you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.